Right, let's go. Let's get ourselves back to Horse Guards where I will not be moving from literally until four o'clock. My soup and I. In fact, I might even have a sausage roll and soup lunch. Yeah, it happens, Scott. We're going to get it, especially in Trafalgar Square. A lot of people. We'll be fine in a minute. It'll settle back down again. Don't worry about it. The lag will recede, I promise. Yep, I'm glad on Esther. Yeah, it's a great app. Great app. Plus, we all know that the majority of these shops rip us off anyway, so it feels good to get something at what it probably should cost, in all honesty, in the first place. If it lags, it's just due to too many people. There's nothing wrong with my reception here. Uh, I'm on 02 for today. And I'm pretty sure that once we get back to horse guards, it'll be normal. Just give me a few minutes, guys, please, and we'll be fine. Literally slow motion. If it's still lagging when I get down to the horses, I'll restart it. Don't worry, it's fine. It's more likely to be a TikTok issue than a network issue. I'm sure it's okay. Is this city safe? Is it really? I mean, it, it can be, I guess. Is it, are the entire city safe? Of course not. There are some super dangerous parts of London. But nowhere near as dangerous as certain parts of, for example, Chicago, Sao Paulo, Paris. Take your pick. It's hard to answer the question, is it safe? You know, it depends on what you're used to. If you're coming from a small village, you know, that's extremely safe where you know everybody, then of course a city like London is gonna seem that it's really, really, really dangerous. I can't, one second. Sorry, I'm trying to read it. Uh, Another point, Gliski Brajalista. I see Boshaya. One second, let's get back to the horses. Oh, what was that? Yep, it's a good app, people, isn't it? Very good app. Brilliant opportunity to uh, avoid wasting money on, you know, overpriced stuff when you can get it for what should be close to cost. Okay, the process is gone. Everything looks to be relatively normal here again. In other words, you know, tourists having fun, taking pictures, horses. The guard is back out of the front in the crowd. Bomb, 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 bomb. There it's, I can see you, yep. Not long to wait, Gloria Jane. Uh, just get ready for uh, how hot it'll be when you get here. London dry literally can be almost as hot as Thailand, and I'm not exaggerating. Last year we hit 42 degrees here in London. It was absolutely roasting. Couldn't even go outside. Okay, stream settled down, guys, like I promised. And as I will not be moving, uh, it should not get lost again. Oh, I saw that. Wow, the second that we walk back. Wow, I'm surprised to see that actually somebody getting told off for holding the reins the moment we step back here. Extraordinary. Uh, 
No, it wouldn't have been the captain that was out talking with the police. It would have been the uh, the corporal of horse. It looks like a captain, actually, but no, he's a corporal of horse. I'm just moving carefully around because Kenny's just arrived and I'm really not in the mood for a chat today. One second, let me get to the other end. I've kind of circumvented him. Wait. There he is, having a chat. Look. Kenny just moving on there. Yeah? Yeah. I think the, yeah, the protest ended. He's coming this way. He'll come this way. I'm pretty sure. What's this? Oh, yeah, the, the, uh, uh, he's a lovely guy, but um, I'm really not in the mood for Bible lessons, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> and if, a lot of time, literally. Yeah, he's, he's really well known. I mean, he's lovely, but he's just a little bit too much sometimes with uh, yeah. yeah, with his message. Well, here's something going on over there. I might check if there's a I mean, like again? Uh, um, oh, that's, that's there in uh, Latin as well. So, uh, the Iranian democracy. Oh, the Iranians. Yeah. There was yeah, some sort of anti globalist thing going on. It's never ends yeah. it? all day there's something going on here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so guys, he actually likes he likes to like run behind or run in front of them backwards. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know how it is. That's a corporal of force, everybody. Um, even those in the military who will think that is a sergeant because of the three chevrons, it's not a sergeant. He is not a sergeant. That fellow is a corporal of horse. One, um, I've asked him before. Two, um, I'm telling you, and three, more importantly, it's a rank that is unique to the household cavalry, okay? It's only in the household cav that this rank exists. There's no other regiment in the British military that have a corporal of horse as a rank. I'm gonna try and get a picture of that. We've got two police officers, a corporal of horse, uh, and indeed, uh, a very, 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 very speedy guard. Do you know what happened to Karen, by the way? Seen that Hopefully, your video interview with her would have been enough to make her get lost permanently. Oh, there goes my video. Taurus heads instead. Sorry, everyone. I'm actually putting my hands inside my own frame there. Okay, if I put the bag down on the bollard for a second, it might be a bit easier. It's a bit better. Don't worry, it's not your lunch, I promise. Not often. <laughs> Show it, yeah. Wait. Sorry, that shade was my fat hand getting involved. I'm trying to take a picture of the guard and the corporal of force at once. Oh great, here we go again. Someone else got in my picture and spoiled it. Bingo, got it. I just got it before he turned. Yep, that's the shade um, exactly. But I'm going to actually try and find some shade in a second. Wait. I'm moving along here because I thought Buskell was going to eat my soup. <laughs> Joking, I did offer him some of my soup, but he's had lunch already. Right, let's get along to this corner. There we go, that's better. You think I could be a hand model? Wait, are you saying that I have effeminate hands? Thanks. I mean, they are kind of a little bit, actually, to be fair. Oops. Sorry, sorry. Damn, every time I move, there's someone behind me, it's just like, whoops, bing, straight off. Okay, this is a better view. The shady side, looking over that beautiful, glorious weather here in London. Oops, we just got in trouble in there, pushing for care, they walked into the eye. Too many, too, too many in there. Yeah? Yeah. Oopsie. So many naughty people here today getting owned. Uh, it is, it is stunning today. I mean, it's completely packed. Look, you can see how many people there are here. Way too many. But it's perfect the conditions are spot on. It's the exact perfect day for sitting on the floor and eating soup. Oh, you see that? Of course, really scared that guy then and his kid away. Oops. I really scared him away.
Nobody wants to get close now, they just saw that. Oh, here we go. Next lucky punters are up. I didn't, even, I didn't even check which soups they are, and suddenly I just realised something. I forgot to pick up a spoon. Duh, can you imagine? I mean, like, what? God, I'm simple sometimes. Guess I'm gonna have my meaty sausage roll instead. It is, yeah, it's very, very nice. Hey, Kim, thank you. Thanks, Selena. Lily Marie, welcome. I was really stomping around by a lot of the arches today. I'm not sure what's going on inside. Very, very busy there, bro. I wonder which app. One second. I'm going to ask somebody which app they're using. Uh, temp, temp's probably high teens, I would think, we're in London today. It's at least 17, maybe even hotter than that when the sun comes out. I still can't actually believe the second I walk back, the guards hold the woman to get her hand off the reins. Literally the second. Imagine being in London. Hey, to be honest, um, weird as it might sound, last year, the hottest month, I think, wait, I think the, the, ho sorry, the hottest single day of last year was actually in June. But last July was also just impossibly hot. It was really, that I remember as an adult, the hottest summer ever. The hottest summer since 1976 last year. So I don't know what we're going to have to look forward to this year. That said, we had the coldest winter this year. So, you know, I don't know if it makes no sense. It's all a bit of a mush, isn't it? One second, let's ask something. Using Chinese TikTok. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 not Chinese TikTok. It's the WeChat and other software. Okay. Yeah. Lots of lots of Chinese people using it. Is it really, 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 really popular? Yes. Yeah. But we have to uh, speak Chinese, not English. And that's why I'm I'm speaking English. Ah, so you're speaking Mandarin to your, to yes, your Chinese yes, audience. Yes, I'm speaking Mandarin. Oh wow. So you like you use live on, on WeChat for this? It's live. Wow. It's live. Amazing. Sorry to disturb you. Ah, okay. So the people that watch you, are they uh, Chinese that are living in the UK or Chinese that are living in China? China. Ah, smart. Okay, so you've got a massive Chinese audience. Yes. yes. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Oops. Okay, everybody, that was interesting. That was, um, remember I mentioned a lot of times about the, uh, what I thought was a Chinese TikToker. She's not, thank you, thank you. She's not using actually Chinese TikTok. Uh, she's actually using a WeChat. Uh, somebody just rescued my life there as I walked into the road. Yeah, WeChat. Um, and she's not actually st uh, streaming yet for, how do we say, um, I was going to say educational purposes. Anyway, she said she streams it because she uh, sponsors items in her WeChat shop. Um, so she uses the traffic that she gets watching this from people in China uh, to sell her items on her WeChat store. Kind of smart, I guess, to be honest. She was very nice and very friendly. Anyway, you can see just this not huge number of people moving about. It's not the king of the castle, alas, no. Uh, we have a guard behind the guard, uh, just over his, uh, his shoulder, his right shoulder, is uh, the corporal of course. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that, Bridget. Okay, let's hope none of these guys make a mistake and get a little bit too close. Oh, 
top. I was definitely eyeballing them to make sure they don't take the you know what. More importantly, they're not a big ship and making gang signs next to them. These kids wannabes. Hey, me too. I'm trying to get some food. Yeah, ladies, we like the uniform, don't we? They're absolutely worse where we like the uniform. Come on, you can't deny that. Ah, you see? Exactly. Thank you so much for kind of guessing you might like it. Um, you, you can't say anything. You don't like uniforms, remember? Even if you tell me that you do like uniforms, I'm not going to trust or believe you. <laughs> I mean, I like uniforms. I'm not going to lie. I'm really hoping that at some point in the near future we have... Uh, we have more lady foot guards here. There have been a few, and there are a few. In fact, there are, there are a number of women in the Blues and Royals and also in the lifeguards, uh, but obviously massively outnumbered by the, the, by the chaps. And he's off. See, I mean, it's, it's four, uh, sorry, it's 2.42. I'm not seeing any, any logic or any timing. You know, he, he, he came out to his rounds. If he, for example, if he'd come out at, I don't know, half past the five minutes, or call it two for five minutes, I would have understood it. He was there for about three minutes, so he came out from roughly 38 until 43. Guys, I'm going to go and ask the Corporal of Force about, about, the, uh, about the chaps doing their rounds. Yeah, let me, let me ask him something, one second. Oops. Corporal, can I ask you a question? When, 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 you're, when the troopers come out and do their rounds, how do they know how long to wait here before they go back in after doing their rounds? There's no, there's no set time. They can, they can choose, like two minutes or five minutes, literally. Okay, I always try to figure that out. Right, that makes sense. Thank you. Okay, that's a really interesting fact. That's a really interesting fact. The Corporal of Horse there, you probably heard, just told me that the troopers are allowed to choose their own time. I had no, no clue. No clue about that. What a, what a wonderful thing. I've always looked at the bell or assumed that they, because they do tend to move on the bell, but there's no fixed amount of time. They decide themselves how long they're going to stand there for. Wow, that's me getting educated. I like that corporal, of course. He's a, he's a lovely chap. Very, very polite. I'm always happy, as you saw, to, uh, you know, to, answer, to answer respectful questions. Damn, these lovely gents here in the, in the national costume of their country. I think they're Ghanaian. Look at this. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Ah, I missed it. Damn it. They look so good, in fact, in, uh, in, their, in, their, in their clothing. Beautiful, beautiful outfits. Damn it. Just missed it. That would have made a super picture. Thank you. See this flow, this flood, this deluge of people uh, walking past the King's lifeguard into the arches. And of course people want to stop, they want to get a picture. Most are being very respectful, they're keeping up their distance. Cheesy candle, okay, save that one. Yep, very close, but not touching. Being, they're being respectful enough for the moment to not touch. Yeah, those two gents, in fact, I'm pretty sure they were Ghanaian. Amazing, beautiful clothing they were wearing. Damn, missed that, never mind. The, the 
a slow walk, everybody. It's like he's walking to a tourist execution. Quite literally, no? It really makes a lot of sense now. I'm getting completely this... Uh, whoops. <laughs> the girl jumped out of the way there. <laughs> he would have gone straight through them otherwise. <laughs> oh, good lord. Honestly. That was, that was super funny. Capitals, capital letters, you know, if you're like typing everything out in, uh, in uppercase. Maybe in we should sort of change that announcement, you know, to like capitals, uppercase or something like that. Because a lot of people don't understand what capital letters are. I don't think that anybody can claim they don't understand what, what uppercase is. Uppercase is pretty clear. So maybe let's change that to, you know, like capitals, upper, uh, sorry, capitals forward slash uppercase. Hey, if you're in heaven seeing this, then I'm very happy for you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it too. Uh, we've only got 13 minutes, guys, until that changeover at three. So I'm just going to be here for a few minutes, and I'm going to go get on the line for the last time until the end of the inspection. Anyway, so now we know. Finally solved the mystery of how they know how long to stand there. Basically, um, it seems to me like it's... Uh, how to say it's almost a game of, of mental strength against yourself, okay? Yes, you can stand there and try and count, but if you count from one to 60, you're not gonna make a perfect minute. You just wouldn't. So I get, guess they sort of sometimes count a little bit in their mind, how long have I been standing here, etc. And then at some point after that, I knew that was gonna happen. I just walked back in to see it. I missed it, damn. I knew he was gonna shout, and then they were sticking their head around the arch to see where the guard had gone. Yeah, they're laughing about it now. Clowns. Wait. Oh. Everyone, everyone literally is running out of the way. They're scattering. Loving this. He's really making them scatter today. Magnificent. Truly. I'm also going to make sure I'm nowhere near the gate. Wait, let me get back. <laughs> I really don't want to risk it. Yeah, the way that some of them let jump out the way, I mean, they're absolutely terrified. It's all very well to be wary and to make way, but, you know, there's no reason to be scared. Fundamentally, there isn't. I said, uh, who knows what might happen next. Oops. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> He's got it down to a fine art, come on. His walk is brilliant, you know it is, everyone. <laughs> It literally looks like he's going to go through the arches and then boom, he does that very, very, very quick turn. And instead of going into the arches, he goes back to the arches on that side. Even the place will love it. And I just like, dude, respect. I'm not sure they're going to go into the, into the arches. <laughs> he's going to go in and be like, dude, you need to stop tricking the tourists like that. <laughs> Quite literally. Strictly speaking, though, I mean, most people are being very, very, yeah, me too. The, the walk is pretty, uh, pretty unique. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it, actually, uh, Kiwi. Yeah, that is a very good way of putting it. Hey, Amanda, welcome. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, I think, how, what am I trying to say here? He knows um, the effect that that walk has, not just on, uh, on the ladies, but obviously also on the tourists here. So that kind of slow walk, that slow march through the centre is, uh, how do we say, I wouldn't quite go as far as saying intimidating. But it's, you know, he has a good air of aloofness about him, is what I'm trying to say. Okay? Yep. <laughs> Slow and smooth. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's one way of describing it, I guess, fundamentally. You could say that, yeah. Very slow. 
uh, and very smooth. However, he sometimes walks very, very, very fast. Um, weird as that might sound, you know. Um, yeah, well, yesterday he was walking through the, the center area here very fast, so fast uh, that I think I almost called him speedy uh, briefly, yeah. Very briefly speedy here in the center. But now back to B. Oh, that was close. Oh my God, here we go again. It was gonna happen this time. You see how quick that turn was to go back into the arches? It was pretty good, wasn't it? Let's be honest. Anyway, he's now gone back to the arches because he will stand here in the arches now. See that? It gets to the corner and then he takes that real, 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 real quick turn, like super quick turn. <laughs> oh, Miss made you famous. <laughs> How, uh, did you ever get shouted at before? Sorry? Did you ever get uh, shouted at? Did you ever make a mistake? And did the guard ever shout at you before? No. Never happened. I had it one time when I was in the way. Really? Yeah, it's a bit. Never... Just like going to make way or something. Okay. It happens. Yeah. It's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Really? Uh, no, I'm bus. My name's Busker. Name is busker. busker. You're the other no, I'm not really Busker. <laughs> No, you don't. You're, you're, no, you're <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm teasing you. Just, just in case you wanted to say, hold on a second, you, I really hate your channel, I hate your content, you really get <laughs> yeah, on my nerves. Content, yeah. <laughs> you stop my kids from focusing on their studies and stuff, which is what I've been told before. Yeah. Tell them to get on TikTok then. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, but did you put on mine? Uh, they've got a one hour limit per day. Do you, do you put an, have you guys got a limit? No. Yeah, no. Yeah, oh, really? No. Oh, they're going to be on kids' hate now, so they're, they're going to be like, oh, where do you have to tell mum to put a limit on our TikTok usage? Because I was watching that, you know, it was literally him. Or... Yeah, right, right opposite these gates. I was on, on yeah. the corner for the coronation. Yeah, my sister-in-law, she stopped out on the mall for two nights. Didn't she? Wait, she was there for two nights. Yeah. Oh, flip! If, I, if I, you should have messaged me, I would have gone down and interviewed her for you. Uh, I don't, I don't know been, where about she was. I would, have, honest, I would have. You know what? I would have asked every person on the mall where. <laughs> ginger hair. Ginger hair. I've got the same hair color as you. I can't really see it under here, but uh, kind of. Yes, it's the best colour. Except, it except when it's too flipping hot and you get all like, you get this as well, super freckly. Yeah. Uh, look, just like me. Look at this. See, in good company. Where are you, where are you from, guys? Where are you well, from? I'm originally from London. Okay. He's from Grimsby. Grimsby now. Wait, so are you mum? Yeah. Your mum and your grandkids. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So you live in London. You guys are in no, Grimsby. No, no. I used to live in London. Ah, oh, so you're now I live living in Grimsby. Oh, okay, okay, well. okay. But we're down because my mum is not very well. My 19 year old mum. Who's that? Pushy. So, it's three generations of you. So, yeah. Oh, wow. She's 19. She's 19, so we've come down to just not be very well. Yeah. Are you still going back? Yeah, yeah. It's cool to work, don't worry, Sophia. They, they, they know that I like to... TikTok. Yeah. yeah. Look. Say hi. Hey, you, you can host it. You can talk to everybody. Yeah. Hi. Just don't drop it. Say hi, I'm from Grimsby. No. <laughs> we've got... Wait, how old are you? Nine. 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 Guys, we've got the youngest ever presenter here on the uh, London City Walk. She's nine years old. Oh, wait one sec, here. <laughs> Don't worry about it, that'll hold itself straight. There we are, nine years old. Nine years old. Nine years old, that's all yours, little man. You know what you're doing. How? That's it, thanks for putting me out of a job. <laughs> Yeah. They don't want to come and let's live in London. Let's get forward so they don't steal our spaces. They don't want to come and live in London. They didn't like um, the underground. Really? Yeah. It's worse if you're used to it. It's a bit... Isn't it? I used to work in stores with Canada House. I was saying hello, little man. Yeah, down Fox Point Street. I'm used to the tubes. Hi. Hi. Yeah, but probably not the tubes. Kind of don't grow up with it. It's not a nice thing to be experiencing every day, is it? It's really stressful for them. It's like the noise and stuff like that. It's just horrendous for Hi. And people that push get in the way, all this kind of stuff. Yeah, and it's like, she's like, why do they keep pushing me? Why do they keep pushing me? Because that's what they do. Yesterday was really bad. Yeah, really bad. Give it back to... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good job, little guy. Thank you for helping me. Go in front of the camera and say hi a lot to the viewers. No. Ah, you're shy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you, you make your grandma saying that you do your own TikToks? What sort of stuff do you do? What, what kind of content? Gaming. Ah, I should have guessed. I was thinking football, but it had to be football or gaming. Gaming, yeah. Yeah. Thinking football, but it had to be football or gaming. Gaming, yeah. Yeah. Adam Subway. Yeah. It's the first time seeing this, like yourself actually standing and watching. Yeah. yeah. yeah what do you think? Two on it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, but really small. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah. I can stand in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. No, you can't. No, it's got a light in front of you. You can go stand in front of those gates. I can't promise you won't get screamed at, but I mean, you're welcome to give it a try. Oops. Are they just about to change? Yeah, this, to, to be honest, this is kind of like the last one. Uh, the scary one is over there in the auction right now. Horses, new horses are coming out, and that will be it. in the one hour end of the inspection. That's it for today. Yep, three o'clock now. Three o'clock change. Yeah, I only had 200, then they heard your voice. They just they just flooded into the channel. Good job. Because, yeah, look, 1.4 million people are watching this right now. Flipping out. Good stuff. Guys, this will be the last change over today. Uh, three o'clock change happening in about, well, two and a half minutes roughly. And then we've got the end of day in one hour. And then guess what? It's soup time for me. Oh, oh the the, uh, the police. Here comes a squaddy as well. I'm telling everybody, obviously, to get back behind the line. Some people go over to the other side, actually. It's very busy. He's actually moving them over there himself. It's a joke. We're joking with those. It. It's not a million. It's not 1.5 million. It's 1.3 thousand. So many people we've got, guys. Oh, well, even the troopers pushing everybody back right behind the line, just in case something goes wrong with uh, with the horse. Hey, bom dia, uh, as well as you, Renata. Thank you very much, bom dia from London. I know it's 1.4. Oh, God. Wait, do you actually think I was being serious? I know it's 1.4. Why? It says K after it. K means thousand, it doesn't mean billion. Goodness me. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. What's happening, Megan? We're waiting for the uh, change. Fresh horses coming out I'd love of to those gates that. very soon. You need to persuade mum to move you down to London first. <laughs> yeah, then you, can, then you can be here every day. Boom. Lynn, welcome. How much follows is that? About, I think, 270,000 here today, so it's quite a lot, it's going fast. Rose, maybe at one point in the, in the uh, future, uh, maybe 50 years in the future, uh, when I'm in my wheelchair, um, approaching 100 years old. Wait. That's it, Carol's right, guys, listen to what Carol's saying. Boom. There's all kinds of weird pop-ups on the things. Like Daily challenge. What is all of this stuff? Creators team. All kinds of weird pop-ups. TikTok is getting a bit spammy. It's for like uh, um, how how many people? Yeah. Do it. This, this many people are watching now. We're waiting for the horses. Kiana, if you can do it, go for it. Uh, Jade's place. If you're here and you're watching, come and say hi. Um, if you want to, after the guard change is finished. I think you meant that you can actually see me in the sense that you were uh, standing here watching. It is Keanu, 100%, I tell you. In fact, I get a hell of a lot of people from Texas visiting. I think probably Texas and New York are the two most uh, the most popular states that people are visiting London from. Here we are. Oh, I was decided to stop right in front of us today. Very elegant. Uh, Oh, very elegant trot, in fact, into the box. Yep, as I described it before, clippy cloppy heaven. It's horse cards. I really like the fact that uh, you guys in... Uh, in the US and Canada call it vacation. Here in the, in the UK we call it a holiday, you guys call it a vacation. Hey, 
sell a bubble one day. One day, my friend. <laughs> That's an interesting way of putting it, um, above an enemy. Yeah, I, I guess it kind of is in some respects. Oh, hold on a second. The horse thought he was going to get back to the stables by himself then for a second. Alessio, welcome. Thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, the horse literally was about to head off by himself. He's just like, you know what? I'm done for the day. We're getting really, really interesting light here, by the way. Look at the light as it's falling over the buildings. A little bit of late afternoon sunshine, hopefully, for the last hour. The horse really did think he was going to go back by himself, didn't he? He was just like, you know what? I didn't even need you to take me back to the stables. I remember the way. He was going to head off right by himself. Boom. In they go. Um, the guards should come out in a second to replace their colleague in the archers. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. People will move now, but the, uh, the foot guards are going to come out the gates. We can move a bit closer. You enjoy that? What do you think, guys? Yeah? Pretty amazing thing to see. Are you, are you in London for much longer this afternoon, or are you done here for now? Yeah? Big Ben. Yeah. You say end of day inspections in one hour. If you just point it out, if you're if you're around, that's interesting. Thing to watch with the captain. Ah, shops. Uh, be be kept super careful with your phones, guys. Yeah. On Oxford Street, bags. Yeah. Be super careful. But have have a good day and be safe. Yeah. Uh, and thanks for. Bye. Hey, goodbye, little man. You champ. No, no, my pleasure. Take it easy. Really, really lovely. British family there. Pleasure, actually, to meet them. Super nice. Thank you, guys, for saying hello to me. Yep, little man did a great job there. He was not shy holding the camera at all. Pretty amazing, to be honest. He's only nine. Anyway, the foot guard is going to come out in a second. I'm pretty sure uh, they'll have a squaddy clear everyone out of the way. So I'm standing back just in case they don't. If, uh, if people are going to move quickly, then it's better that I stand back and let them move. Oh, here he comes. One, two, three. So they've changed over. A fourth guard will come out now. Let's see. All right, there's a trooper there. This trooper is going to tell people to make way. Look. Yeah, see, look. He already told everybody to make a, make a gap, which in some respects is good, but in some respects is not. Because now no one's getting screamed at. <laughs> Wait, okay. I literally thought that girl was going to refuse to move them. Do you see that? How late she left it. She literally left it to the last moment to move out of the way. I would love to have seen what would happen if, it, if she hadn't moved. The shouting in the background was the, uh, the NCO giving the commands to the, uh, to, the, uh, to the troopers. That girl got super close right then. Yeah, it was just bizarre. People have really taken the mick today. Let's have a look in the arches, guys, at what else is going on. That was just like, what? Wait, I was going to ask that girl why she got so close, but she's gone. It's like she really did not want to move out of the way. Oh, something, something's happened. What's this at the front? Something's happened at the front. I'm hearing a protest. I'm hearing the banging of drums, and I'm hearing Fruit Loops approaching fast. Let's see what it is. Oh, oh. Damn, this could potentially lead to the horses being removed. Wait, let me see what's going on. I think, actually, everybody, that it's, uh, it's the, uh, the uh, pro-Iranians. Pro Luckily, they're walking away. So they're just banging the drums, but they're going away from here towards Trafalgar Square. Thank God. Why? Because we definitely do not need to lose the horses at this point. Anyway, we've got a spot. We're back. Yeah, there is literally always something. Quite literally always something. Crazy but true. Yeah, they're banging drumming behind, but they're, they're moving on. You see the horse's ears are perking up. The horse is looking. He's like, what's going on over there? Uh, everybody that's writing in, in Russian Cyrillic, um, Yamagu Jitad Ninoshkapuriski Yazik, another Anglisky Pujalasta, Pujalasta, Pujalasta. 
everything will be much easier if, uh, if you write Moshe Pisap po Angliski, Pujolska, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, luckily, the, uh, the process seems to have gone a little teeny weeny bit along the road. Thank goodness. Can I see your city, please? I mean, yeah. All we need to do is jump on a plane and you'll be here in no time at all. And you can enjoy all of these lovely sights and sounds of London. And that applies to you as well, Em, as you know already. Ah, Peter, you're literally just up the road, chap. Real end of day surge of people here. The horse is massive, even though it might not look like it. Hey, I mean, most people that are on the live are visiting from around the world. Very few people that I encounter here in English. It's, uh, it's rare. Why? Because it's a tourist area, so of course we get people that are from all around the world. Hey, in terms of people being at home watching TV, fundamentally, why on earth would you want to spend a day like this when it's nice and warm and sunny at home watching TV? Come on, it'd be much better to be outside in the sunshine. Plus, you know, add in the uh, atmosphere, friendly faces, happy families, and more importantly, that vitamin D, folks. That's the best reason to be outside when it's like this. That vitamin D, you feel it literally surging into your blood, uh, into your bloodstream. A lot of people in the UK, a lot of English people have vitamin D deficiency naturally because we don't get enough sunshine. That's a lot of us are super pale, myself included. But you know what? Massively, ma yeah, socialize, exactly, Sherry, you're bang on. You know, socializing, meeting people, meeting friends, or just being out talking to people like I do. Hey, I didn't see you, did you just get here? I didn't see you at all today. You just arrived. What, what were you doing all day? Like, you work today? Or? What were you doing today? Or your work? You didn't normally hear on Saturday? No, I'm just missing family. Oh, really? You, it was, you didn't miss too much. There wasn't a lot of drama today. Yeah, there wasn't, there wasn't, there wasn't, I promise. Yesterday was just, as you know, but today, normal day. Yeah, everyone's waiting for, to, for tomorrow. No, you didn't, I promise. You really didn't. I mean, busy again, as busy as yesterday, as you can see, it was packed this afternoon. But yeah, uh, the troopers are moving everybody out of the way really fast now. I remember the guy that came like, um, um, something I saw in the bus uh, 40 years later. So, oh, came. yes, the guy who came from yeah, Jamaica. That, yeah. yeah, that was really sweet. That looks like what he's, he's going to do. <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping that other people do that. You know, a lot of people are asking, like, what's the point in having a picture of the horse? That video pretty much answered I'm, that question. I'm going to bring something up in here, like, 12 years ago. And, and compare the, that there kind of no, historical footage no with that. There was no blood. Bro, well, why don't you put that stuff up already? I mean, you've got, like, golden yeah. footage. Uh, you've, got, you've got so much stuff that kind I of is some, an historical record. I have something, I have something working out. Um, I've got something working out. Um, you could make like an hour on compilation, horse cards have, in the last 30 years or I have something. done, I just, just not an hour, I have more than 40, 50 hours. Oh, so the yeah. biggest problem is going to be time to yeah, check through it. Yeah, because we don't come here, like people don't film it, people don't come here for it. And yep. it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't that too of a big deal until the thing died. Yeah, yeah it's massively true. Mrs Mendoza, I did see your comment, uh, Mrs Mendoza, thank you very much for that, um, just gracias, I appreciate it, it's very kind of you. <laughs> Everyone's cheering in a very good mood today, you see this, you know, people are super happy, there's been no, no conflict as such today, uh, I haven't seen a single major disagreement. Even, uh, even the guards seem to be in a really good mood today, generally speaking. Ah, Kia Reta, ciao, welcome. Go this side. Go back, 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 go back. Don't be afraid, huh? How about you? Get up. 
James, welcome. I hope all you guys are also enjoying the weekend. It's going to be a bit of a stonker this time next week. We should be properly into the first week of summer. Fingers crossed. I'm just happy to be able to be outside with uh, without a coat. In fact, I'm carrying around a bag of, uh, of five suits like a complete idiot. Oh, that's a nice, uh, nice little outfit. <laughs> Every time the horse shakes his head, somebody gets scared and they run out of the frame. It's always like that. It's super funny. <laughs> Uh, why not, Joe? Because we said so, that's why not. Thanks for stopping by there to ask the completely pointless question. Bye, Joe. Thank you, Brett. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It's, uh, you know, it's just, it's happiness, isn't it, fundamentally? Pure and simple. Joining uh, from Italy, ciao, welcome Alessio, ciao to you as well. I'm going to have to get a, a Milano city walk soon guys, I think. Or maybe one of my favourite places in the whole world, Santa Margherita Allegora. Portofino city walks, that kind of works, no? I need to check if that's available. PCW. Portofino City Walks. We walk through uh, Camogli, uh, down to the harbour at Portofino. How about that? That would be great content, wouldn't it? He is, yeah. I mean, the horse might well be a teeny weeny bit thirsty. That's it. He's only been out for. In fact, he's been out for less than 15 minutes. It's not sunny now either. It's very nice and warm here today, but it's not actually sunny in the sense of, oh my god, you know, boiling. It's just right, to be honest. This is why almost everyone you see has got short sleeves or uh, is wearing sunglasses or, in my case, and other people's cases, a hat of some sort. <laughs> C'est la dame derrière là. Voilà. Doesn't stop look. Second, somebody moves, someone else takes their spot almost instantaneously. A true welcome. Head up and down right now, isn't it? I'm not sure if that's approval or because he's unhappy or a bit of both. Oh, I thought she was going to grab the reins then. I thought she was going to grab the reins. 
Um de cada lado. Ah. Oh. It's a smart guy putting his kid on the right side, he's putting himself between. Oh, I spoke too soon. Now he's not. The kid's um right next to the horse's head. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm quite literally in the middle, I think he's got it right. Always better to stand with your kid on uh, the opposite side of yourself. With the horse behind, way too close, eh? way too close. God forbid, she's tiny as well, little kids less than, uh, or younger than one, I would think. It seems not, plus I think a lot of people that do, uh, do arrive here uh, can't speak English. Can't read English, I should say. Same, you know, if I went to, I'm guessing this guy's probably Taiwanese or Chinese. If I went to either of those countries, I, I cannot read uh, Mandarin or Cantonese, you know, same, same thing. Or Taiwanese for that matter. The change has happened, Shakira. We've only got the end of the inspection left, which is in 40 minutes from now, roughly 40. It will take 35, 40 minutes. Plus, you know, even if the sign were in 10 different languages, I think a lot of people, they're excited. They see the horse, they want to get a picture quick, especially when it's busy. Most people, I think, honestly, don't even see that there is a sign. I really don't think most people even notice there's a sign here. Horses can always tell when somebody's really kind, tranquil, easygoing. The horse is agreeing with me, literally. It's almost like the horse speaks English. It makes sense that you come out to see a horse. The first thing you want to think about is, hey, uh, let me get a picture or let me get a video or something similar. Wait, let me try and get through everybody carefully. See? Every language under the sun is being spoken here today, quite literally. We'll just go through on to the That's a very nice compliment, Sam. Thank you. Oopsie. <laughs> it is warm here. Oops, sorry, chap. It's very, very warm here. Bingo, we're back. Julia. Sorry. William. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Hey, now, welcome. This guy, wait. Our government likes what worldwide. We've got the same agenda. We've got people taking jobs. Our government is our enemy. Okay, so apparently his message is, our government is our enemy. In some respects, he's right. I'm not quite sure that's the way to make that point, but yeah, he's got a point, at least. Oh, lost the spot now. Damn it, one second, everyone. Back to the fence.
Can't remember those soldiers with PTSD. And have been sent to these places murdering children. Foreign countries. A corrupt queen and countries. And now a paedophile king. Who was best mates with the most prolific paedophile. Well, Better be careful about uh, some of the things he's saying. This is the royal family, Prince Andrew. Oh, he's looking at you. One second, folks. There's a head case out there screaming about Peter Files, all kinds of stuff about the kids. I think he's uh, drunk. A real, real head, head case. So I've got to let the police know that guy's really uh, not, not being respectful in front of the kids at all. <coughs> Fruit Loop. Hopefully they'll get him moved on. He's uh, got some open cans, so that might be reason enough to get him moved on. It's not on, is it, really, to be fair? It really is not on. On. Actually, you know I think he's going to move himself on now he realises they're coming. Can't have that, can we? Not in front of the kids, definitely not. Ah, look, he moved on himself. On the back of uh, the jacket, he's got blah, 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 the police. So, of course, he's moved on. Oh, great, here we go. He's just not listening. Yeah, other people are talking to the police about it as well now. They're not liking this at all. He's going to get moved on for sure. No one is it really, not the kids so. Ah, he's, he's gone. <laughs> Chicken it. <laughs> he knew he would get arrested. Okay, good. Problem solved. Clown. He's, he's entitled to his opinion like everybody else, but you can't be using that kind of language, screaming, shouting around with the little kids, can you? You can't have it. Why don't you fight him to the death? Uh, why? Because I have a brain and I prefer to use it, that's why. Your answer. Yeah, kids don't need to be hearing those kind of words, that kind of language. Absolutely not. I actually thought he had a point when he first came along, but then I realised he was drunk and talking about rubbish. He was definitely right on point about uh, you know governments not being our friend. I agree with that, but. I can't be having that, those kind of words, not front of kids. Bye, Gregor. Thank you for dropping in for two seconds. Foot guard just came back out again. He's at the front. I don't know how long he's going to. Oh, he's actually not staying there very long. <laughs> Everybody rushed back toward him, and he went straight back into the arches. The moment we walked over, curious. Good lord. I like this end better actually, the lighting's better here, we're not getting that constant reflection on the, uh, on the camera that we've got on the other end. It was, yeah, it was Bridget, yeah. <laughs> he is a faster man than I, uh, at least when it comes to some of things. that is, uh, is joining and following and liking etc. I'm going to go and sit over here for a little bit guys. One, because we've got a good view. Two, because it's a peaceful spot. And three, because I really want to eat my sausage roll before the end of day inspection. So I'm going to grab a seat on the floor here. Oh, bing. I know it's not very civilised guys. Before you tell me, I already know. 
So I'm going to leave you to enjoy this amazing view. Yep, Vasquez's dedication is, uh, is something I admire. One second. Let's get this off my wrist. So I'm literally sitting on the floor. It's always looking at me like I'm some kind of fruit loop, but you know what? I don't care. Put a bit of power on the phone, in fact, for the, uh, for the inspection. So I'll do that while I'm sitting here. So I'll be here for around about 10 minutes, roughly, guys, on the floor, eating my sausage roll, having a bottle of water, and get myself completely ready for the end of the inspection in the right spot. So, yes, yeah, so I'm pretending to be a peasant, everybody, temporarily. It's my imitation of how peasants used to sit on the, on the ground in fields after they cut the corn. Okay, so what's for lunch, guys? This, look. I think that that looks quite meaty, no? That's pretty meaty. Yep, I'm gonna peasant it, everybody. I have no airs and graces. I'm very uncivilized, as you all know. So let me just indulge right here on the floor next to the horse. I just hope the horse is not gonna smell my sausage roll. Uh, I want a bite, because I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to share it. We got a bottle of water. Uh, where is it? Where's it hiding? Oh, there it is. It is definitely well baked, yeah. It's pretty meaty, which might explain why they put meaty on the label. Okay, got my water, got my sausage roll, got my seat on the floor. Hopefully I'm not standing where somebody's dog weed last night. But you know what? I can always wash my trousers. Hey, welcome if you're watching from Wild Guess Taiwan or Japan. God damn, that's a good sausage of raw. Mmm, yummy. Nikki, 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 welcome back. I hope you uh, really enjoyed the trip. Everything's great, yeah, super great. But we missed you, you know that. Welcome back. I'm the only person ever in 250 years of horse cars history to eat a sausage roll on the floor. Definitely, 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 definitely wants to be petted and now, oh, he's looking at me, he wants a bit of my sausage roll. Oh, damn it, the horse has put in my sausage roll, everyone. You can see, look, he really wants a bit. Yeah, he like really, really, really wants a bit of my sausage roll. Guide, as I'm busy, busy patronizing his uh, his guests. Don't worry, these these two gents are not doing a drug deal. Everybody here at Horse Guards just just posing for pictures. He didn't just slip him two grams for 50 quid. Uh, well, you can shout at her, I did not.
how would I know that? Well, you know, I do watch a lot of uh, true crime series on Netflix. I mean, how else would I know? Yeah, I know some of the tall guys, they really need to work on their people skills. Um, they rush way too much. Oh, anyone want a picture? Zoom in, crouch down, there's your one picture, it's done. It's just like, hold on a second, nobody's going to get it right in the first picture. Even professional photographers don't. That's the whole point of having, you know, a fast shutter speed. And ideally, the ability to take 50 pictures in less than 30 seconds. I mean, that isn't necessarily true. It depends on the phone, but... If it's you know current generation, the pictures are very very close to being as good as a DSLR. Yeah, I know Nicky. He's like, why is that peasant man sitting on the floor eating a sausage roll? It happens. Yeah, they'll look a bit because I'm sitting on the floor. They probably just sit on some like green rod. To be honest, I mean they're kind of half right. <laughs> yeah, I thought he wanted some of the sausage roll. Honest, you've all heard the word chow. When I'm outside, sitting on the floor with my sausage roll, I look like a chow. Yeah, 100%. I was waiting for him to come over and say, My dear fellow, why on earth are you sitting on the pavement? <laughs> she got a scare there for some reason. Oh, she's back again. Is it that? Yeah, little champ posse. Uh, Nikki's allowed to use capitals. Nikki is a moderator, so don't upset her, guys. Nikki takes no hostages. Crazy how much liquid I get through. This is my uh, baby. You will use capitals. You just won't use it here. Bye. Crazy how much water I get through in a day. I had three drinks. One small bottle of water. Now the second bottle of water. Crazy. Wow. Oh wow. Did that feel good? Bye bye baby. Bye bye baby. Goodbye. I love the people that join the chat and say I will use capitals or all capitals or I will do what I want. It's like, hey, you slash, you won't. Yeah, I know exactly. It's just odd. Oh, bye bye, Bruce Lee. Bye bye. Thanks for stopping by. Another one on the idiot list. Goodness me, they're all coming out of the woodwork. I am fully refreshed, jacket. I'm waiting, whoops, excuse me folks, waiting for the end of the day. Yeah, we're aiming to get the ban list guys to uh, roughly around the half a million mark uh, by the end of next week. Pretty close. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> I'll be on my feet again in a second, everybody. Hey, they don't listen to the rules, guys. Uh, Rose, Nikki, Brett, Scott, everyone else. Um, it is what it is. They're gone. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's, it's actually probably about half a million already, to be fair. 
I can see Scott. I'm not sure if the other mods can, but I can definitely see it. Oops, one second. Slightly lost the phone there. It's lost focus. Cable got pulled. Excuse me, ladies and gents. Right, let me reset this. I'm going to build my feet in just a moment. At least it worked out well, everybody, with the uh, with the new sim, didn't it? I'm very happy about that. And a massive thanks to, once again to Louise for uh, doing what she did. Let me just double check some of the other phone guys, and then we'll get up. It'll be going inside in 10 minutes anyway. Layla, I just got, I just read your message, Layla. I'll, re I'll re uh, send you a message. I'll re reply tonight, I promise. I was actually thinking about you yesterday. I really forgot to message you in the past week or so. That was my bad. Uh, and I got your message, Rosalina. I'll message you uh, tonight when I get back. Thank you, guys. Andy Man London, just got your message. Well, thank you, as ever. Uh, your question, Lynn, about tapping the horses. Look at the video that's pinned to the top of the channel about what happens if they don't tap the horses. Uh, Wheelie Candor, just read your message as well. Um, thank you. Carabina, thank you. Um, apologies if your question was missed. That was a, I remember that day when I was asking about that. It was a very busy day. Sorry, guys. I'm just reading through some of these messages here. Thank you so much, everyone, that sent the message. There's so many messages. Uh, I will apply to any questions um, in the message tonight. If I try to go through, go through them now, I'll be here all day, literally. Second. Oh, the other tour guide is here, the really famous one. Just turn up on my left. It's a really famous one. He's probably the, the most popular one after the, uh, the Spanish ladies, Anna and Nuria, who are both lo absolutely lovely. Right, trying to get on my feet, people. Let me get my bag up, and we'll get moving for the last 20 minutes of fun. Yeah, it is it's very, very warm in the sunshine here today. Very warm. And a lovely day it is. In fact, it's a super day. It's warm, but not hot, at least at the moment, on the floor, in the shade. Uh, there is another regiment of lifeguards that you will find. It's the guy that always talks about the lifeguards, and then he uses the example of James Blunt having been a lifeguard. Uh, they are real soldiers in the real British Army. Technically, these are troopers in the household cavalry. And, uh, real cavalry in Lancet Regiment, my dear fellow. They fight in real war. They obviously don't fight on the road. They fight in armoured vehicles. 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 They fight in armoured Doki, okay, what we get? Just checking everything. Fine power is juicing up. Yeah, we're good. Let me see if I can get my feet without falling over. This will be fun. I probably should send him. He's a good guy, though, to be fair. I, I do mock him in a very, very gentle way. He's one of the better ones here. Uh, at least a lot, a lot, if not the majority of his, uh, of his factual information is correct. The, the, the single best person in terms of the fine detail is the armour officer. He is uh, not only a good fellow, but... He's a people person. He, he really knows how to how to make his group feel engaged. Yep, don't worry, Scott. I've got my eye on the clock. So my list of sort of favourite tour guides. Army officer is definitely number one. Don't know his name. Apologies. I would ask him one day. Uh, Anna and Nuria, uh, definitely number two. They are lovely, uh, and their tour group's always massive. This guy to my left is uh, is a top boy, and a few of the others are great as well. Right, up I go, everyone. Boom. We're up. We are mobile again. Hey Shakira and everybody else that's just joining. Thank you guys and welcome. He's got a big group though, actually. This tall guy has got a huge group here today. There must be at least 50, 60 of them. Imagine that. If he's getting paid £10 a person, that's a hell of a lot of cash for, uh, for an afternoon of work, isn't it? Hell of a lot of cash. Actually, maybe I need to consider a new career as a tour guide. I'd be terrible at it though, wouldn't I, to be honest. 
nobody would ever hire me to give a tour around London. I know, I know nothing. Well, as it sounds, uh, so I'm kind of, and Carolyn, thank you guys, I'm kind of, how to say this, I am a people person, but at the same time I very much like uh, do my own thing, you know, I've never actually worked for anyone in my entire life, <coughs> luckily, uh, so it would be difficult. Kakaya Karsotka, what you can say, I mean, that, finish her, Kakaya Karsiva Loshadka, this, pretty much. <laughs> uh, Nikki, I would never take a dime from you. You give, uh, you give me lots of support. You know that. Uh, in the creator program, now Nikki as well. That thing, that thing with that form that we filled out, uh, even though I did cheatily do it with you, uh, they, they contacted me separately about that, um, and I did speak with a girl. Uh, I've now got a couple of uh, bite dance employees on uh, on WhatsApp. So if we ever have any serious problems, Nikki, thank you to you. Um, it'll be quite easy to take care of them which is good very good to know they're quite responsive as well actually on whatsapp oops oh welcome uh, and welcome to you too welcome guys thank you for joining the live here okay so wait i'm just unsure which question to ask first for this interview thank you louise I like when people just rock up in front of the camera and not even realise that I'm actually holding a camera. They think I'm on the phone or whatever, or just you know, chatting whatever to myself. Yeah, you stand up when I tell you to, okay? Yeah, I was, I was surprised, Nikki, to be honest, they got the message. Um, they've got a private Discord channel as well with uh, quite a few TikTok bite dance employees. They're very, very, very nice. I was really surprised. So it made my day actually when they got the email, I tell you. Five minutes, guys, and I'm on the line. It's uh, 50. Actually, wait, I'm going to go in just a moment. Some people are already on the line inside. Very, very close to the uh, in the day inspection here at Horse Cars today. Yeah, yeah, me too, Nick. It was. Uh, Kind of seemed like an appropriate moment, actually. Uh, used to actually be the okay, it's now quarter two. Oops, let me go and grab that spot before it gets really busy. It will get really busy, as it always does. I'll do that now. I'm thinking that um, the speedy guard might come out first. Let's have a look. And in a moment, I will move onto the spot. Yeah, London Live is true, Linda. It's that slight element of, you know what, what's going to happen next. Thank you, Richard. I agree with you. She looks happy that the guard is, uh, is marching to and fro just behind her. Lovely. Oh, some of those long words... Her, oh, yeah, it's Kyrgyzstani. Uh, wow. Welcome if you're watching from Kyrgyzstan. I think you are probably uh, Pirvi uh, from Kyrgyzstan. Welcome to London City Walks. Warm welcome. And uh, anyone else watching from Kyrgyzstan? Welcome to London. <laughs> 